All right. Well, anyways, guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Let's go. All right, so in today's Scratch tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a very cool duck hunt style balloon pop game. Let's get right into it. So the first step here is going to be deleting the scratch cast sprite from your base scratch project and then go into the paint tab after creating a new sprite and we're just going to draw a simple red balloon here. And then we're not going to need the outline here, we're just going to set that to transparent and then zoom in just a little bit and then hold the shift key and draw a perfect circle there. And then we're just going to make that a touch smaller here. And then grab the select tool, center it up. And now we need a little bottom part of the balloon where you put the air in. And then we'll draw this thing here. And then once we have that little rectangle, we'll center it up. Then hold the shift key while you press the down arrow to move it down in greater increments. And then after we center that up, we're gonna zoom in here. Click on our reshape tool. And then we're just gonna drag it around. Just like that. And then now we have our nice balloon sprite here. And then next up, we are going to paint a new sprite. And this one is going to be our crosshair for our site. And then we're going to set the fill to transparent. And then we're going to start by setting the outline to 10 and then getting a nice dark red color. And then we're going to draw a small little circle here. And after we do that, we're just going to make the outline a little bit smaller. So set that to 8, center it up. Zoom in and now get your line tool, and then once again hold the shift key to make a perfectly straight line. And then we're just going to go to the reshape tool here and move the right arrow key to make it a bit smaller there. And then once you do that, center it up, and then copy and paste, and then hold the shift key while you rotate to rotate it at 45 degree increments, I think it is. And now that you have your site, we are going to center it up, and then go into your code tab. What we want here is a one green flag clicks block and then a forever loop. And then once you do this, we're going to forever be going to the mouse pointer here. And then while it's tracking the mouse pointer, we also want it to spin a little bit while we're aiming it around just to make it a little bit more fun and I don't know, dynamic. And then we're going to have that start by turning 0.5 degrees and that's moving a little bit too slow. And so we're just going to make it turn one degree. There we go, that looks very nice there. Cool. And then next up, we are going to go to our balloon sprite here. And then a when green flag clicks block. And then drag out. Before we do that, we're going to make the size 80. Just a little bit, it's a little bit too big. And then once you do that, next up, what you're going to need to do is go to your backdrop sprite and then go to the paint editor and then we're not really going to need an outlet on this I'm just messing around with the colors to so just try to figure out what they need to be at and then we're going to need to go to the fill part and then we're going to set that to the the all the way filled setting here and then we're just going to find a nice light blue color for our sky here a little bit too dark a little bit lighter there All right, so that looks pretty good. Then we're just gonna make the outline transparent and then draw a rectangle over the entire stage here. And if you want to pause the video and look at the different colors there to get the exact same one I have. And then after you do this, um, well, we're just gonna make the, we're gonna make the grass here. So then go to get a nice green color for our grass here. And then we're just gonna draw a little rectangle on the bottom of the stage there like that. And the next up we're going to make some really cool bushes here. So we've got a nice dark or forest green color if you will. And then we're just going to make a bunch of circles and then just copy and paste them and then try to just arrange them in somewhat of a natural looking pattern for bushes. And then just keep going here like high, low, high, low or whatever you want to do just mix it up, make it look interesting and natural if you can. And then once you do this part, you're going to select your grass and then click the front here. And there we go, we have a really nice looking background here for our game. And then next, we need the balloons to spawn in behind the bushes. So go ahead and copy everything you've drawn and then deselect the sky here while you're holding the shift key. 
and then paste it into a new sprite and then make it x0 and then y0 here, <laughs> not 280, y0 as well. And then if we go back to our code tab, we're just gonna drag in a one green flag glitch block and then go to x0, y0 and then go to the front layer. And while we're at it, we're gonna to go to our site sprite here. And then we're gonna forever be going to the front layer because this we want this one to be in front of everything here. So you should have this. Now we're just gonna run the game to see how it looks. So cool, we have our nice looking stage here and everything's working great. We have it all nicely set up to program our balloon here. And then once we do this, we're going to say when green flag clicked, and we're going to hide it. Before we do that, we need to figure out a nice range for our balloon to be moving along. So just drag in a go to X, Y block here. And we're just going to drag it out. We just need a new one here for update our position. And then next up, we're going to set it to go to a random position along the X axis. The Y value is going to stay the same, of course. So we're going to say go to X, pick random, negative 207 to 207 looks good now we have that set up for our values there and then when green flag clicked we're gonna hide and then drag in a forever loop and then we're gonna wait two seconds to start here and then we're gonna drag this one in here and then a when I start as a clone block. Actually, we're going to create a clone of myself. Take that one out. This looks better. When I start as a clone, go to X, pick random, and then Y, of course. And after you find your position, we're going to show up. And then we're going to drag in a repeat until loop. And then we're going to repeat until we're touching the edge. And we're going to change Y by 3. Or we're going to move up. We're just going to move up along our stage there. And we're probably going to have to make this slower. We're just going to play around with the numbers, see what looks and feels right. And after we do that, we're gonna delete this clone here. And then I think we're gonna to need to go to the back layer here. So we can spawn in behind the bush and we're gonna see how it runs. Okay, cool. So our balloon pops up from behind the bush and they go away when they hit the top of the stage there. Well, my first observations from this, I can see that the balloon is going a little bit too fast and it's also kind of chunky when or clunky when it deletes off the top of the stage there. So to update this, we're going to go to our balloon costume, and then we're going to set the fill and outline to transparent, draw a big rectangle around it all. This is our max stage boundary hack from my five secret scratch trick video. We can implement this into our game here. And then after we repeat that until touching the edge, we're going to drag in a repeat a set number of times loop. We're just going to put a change Y by one block inside and then say repeat 20 to start. And we're going to have to change this. We're just playing around with the numbers for now. So if you want to just sit back and you can watch as I try to figure out the values here. So once we do this, the balloons are moving way too slow as well. So we're going to need to make that faster here. But we can see that it's kind of going up a little bit further, but we still need to repeat that more times. Go ahead and stop your project. And we're going to say repeat 50 times. We're going to see how this looks. And then before we do this, we also need the balloons to change color. So when I start as a clone, we're going to set the color effect to pick random negative 10,000 to 10,000. It's gonna be a good little value there. And we're also gonna change Y by two to have it go a little bit faster. And we're also gonna to need to update that on the second loop after we touch the edge here. Yeah, because it slows down there. Okay, this is looking better, but we need to change the second one to change Y by two. And we're gonna see how it looks. Boom, perfect. Now they go off stage very smooth and we are ready to start programming it to be able to shoot them almost. We also need another thing to track whether or not they've been shot, like I just said. So we want our player to have a little, I don't know, pop gun or a blow gun to shoot these balloons. So we're gonna have, when I start as a clone, we're gonna say, if touching sprite two, which is our sight here. So our player controlling a little pop gun, which is our sight here. And then we're gonna say, if touching sprite two, and then another if statement, and then say, if mouse down, delete that clone. We're going to do our sounds and say start sound pop before we delete the clone. And I do apologize on my screen recording, it does not pick up on audio. So 
once you add it, you're gonna be able to see what it sounds like, but I do not have in-game audio for this. So right now we have the game almost fully functional. We can shoot our balloons here and it's looking really good. Now we're just gonna play around with it, see how it looks here. And now we're gonna go to our ground sprite and we're gonna make a new variable, call it lives and set this one to four all sprites here. Then go to your balloon sprite and then when the green flag is clicked, we're gonna set lives to 10. We're gonna have 10 lives to start and the premise of the game is we have 10 lives and every time a balloon goes off screen, you lose a life. So you have to be really fast to pop the balloons as they go off, before they go off screen. And after that, change Y by two, repeat 50 block. We are going to change our lives by negative one. And we're gonna run through this to see how it looks. There, so as you see, as the balloons go off screen, the lives deplete. So this is looking good. Go ahead and stop the game. And we're gonna make a new variable and we're gonna call it score. So this is going to track how many balloons you popped while you had your 10 lives. So we're going to set the score to zero after the set lives to 10 block. And then after we start the sound pop, we're going to change the score by one. Just delete the my variable variable. Then we're going to need one more and we're going to call it difficulty. And this is going to, this is going to make the balloon spawn faster and faster the more that have been generated. So we're going to say set difficulty to two. And instead of waiting two seconds, we are going to wait difficulty settings because now our variable is keeping track of that number. And underneath that, we're gonna say change difficulty by negative 0.01. This is gonna make the balloon spawn in faster and faster and faster as more balloons come out. So we're gonna full screen this and see how it looks. Looking really good, honestly. And now we're almost ready to see just, yeah. The game's looking beautiful. Good job if you made it this far. And if you haven't already, subscribe and help me grow my channel. Help more people find these tutorials to learn how to make cool scratch games. And then inside the sprite one, we're gonna inside the site, we're gonna point in direction 90, set the size to 80 as well there. And then now we need to program this to detect people just holding down the mouse and dragging it all over the balloons. And then we're gonna say if mouse down, wait until not mouse down. And then if we're touching sprite two, which is our site one, we're going to start the sound pop and then delete the balloon. So now we have a fully functional game here and it's looking really good. And anyways guys, that is almost it for this tutorial. Now we need a way to stop the game if our lives equal zero. And then we're gonna say forever if the lives equal zero, we're going to stop all. Just gonna sh shut the game down. Just gonna time lapse through it real quick. And once our lives equal zero, boom, the game stops. All right, well, that is it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.